Hello there everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Grimahim. Something strange is going on with the Undertale Twitter today. It's a little bit worrying because it's Halloween, but that's not the, the main concern. The main concern is what they've said. Yesterday, something or someone tried to communicate with us through the Undertale Twitter. And they told us to come back in 24 hours. I'm back. An hour late, mind, but I'm still back. <laughs> and they've given us a link to something. Deltarune.com They gave us a download for something called the Survey Program. I have downloaded said program. I played it for about a minute. And I was confused. And I felt like this is something I'll probably want to record. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to start the entire process again. And I'm going to go through this with you guys. Because I get the feeling this is going to be pretty interesting. Are you there? I am, yes. Are we connected? Well, I, I guess that depends how you define connected in this situation. But my soul is here. Or whoever's that is, I'm assuming that's mine. Excellent. Truly excellent. Now. We may begin. I already know what we're beginning here. But what we're beginning is why I decided to record this, because it's, it's really bizarre. First, you must create a vessel. Select the head that you prefer. I don't know if this matters or not, so I'm, I'm just going to go with what I want for this. Uh, I chose this one. Select the torso that you prefer. This is why I started getting weirded out. Because there's six options here, but the first four look exactly the fucking same. Ah, but they don't. Because the sleeves, the sleeves are different. I get it now. Okay. I still don't see the difference between the first and the third one, though. What's different between those? I mean, I can see the difference between the, the, the second and the fourth, but... Anyway, I think I'm gonna choose this one. I chose the fifth one at first, but now that I've noticed the difference, I prefer the t-shirt. So like the legs that you prefer. Yeah, now this I really don't see the difference between. Because the first four legs, the leg on the right is bigger than the leg on the left. Like, it's chunkier. And then the final one, the right leg, is chunkier. I'm not sure if there's a reason for that. Or if there is actually a difference between the first four. But I'm going to go with the fifth one since that's the only one that looks different. This is your body. That's the... They probably intended for you to select the one that looks different, actually. I get the feeling I'm falling for a trap or something here, but I hope not. Do you accept it? Yes, I do. Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. What is its favorite food? Sweet, soft, sour, salty, pain, or cold? Well, obviously pain stands out here. But I don't want to do that. Because uh, I, like, I don't like painful food. So let's go with soft. Your favorite blood type. Well, I don't really have a favorite blood type, but C and D aren't even blood types, so that definitely seems dangerous. Uh, I'm gonna go with B because of the B emoji. <laughs> what color does it like most? Red, blue, green, or cyan? Well, red is my favorite color, so I'm obviously gonna choose that, but I wonder why they chose cyan and not something like yellow. Please give it a gift. Kindness, mind, ambition, bravery, or voice. 
all of these seem like things that you'd want to give a vessel, but vo I don't know. I think a voice is probably more important than any of these other things. M maybe mind could be considered more important, but I want to give my vessel a voice. Because <coughs> communication is key. How do you feel about your creation? It will not hear. I believe that to be a goddamn lie. To be honest, I'm fearful. But I am going to go with hopeful. Have you answered honestly? No, but we're going to say yes. <laughs> you acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. This is where I stopped, because I thought after this point that I'd actually be playing something, so... Yeah, I want to... I don't want to go through that alone. Fuck that. Yes. Understood. Name your vessel. Okay, I don't know what to name it. Um... I could just name it after myself. Hmm. You know what? It's probably intended that you name it after yourself, really, isn't it? But I don't know. I don't want to call it Frisk or Kara because they're probably this probably isn't Frisk or Kara, so I don't really want to do that. Uh, yeah, I'll just call it Grim. Screw it. I guess that is my online name at the end of the day, so it doesn't really matter if I name my vessel after that. We called it Grim. And what about the creator? My apologies about that. My internet decided to go out while I was recording. So that will probably pop up several times now if it doesn't come back. So my create or its creator is Grim Ahim. There we go. Grimahim. Oh, it's Grimahim, but everyone fucking says it wrong, so. Excellent. Truly excellent. Grimahim. Thank you for your time. Your answers. Your wonderful creation. Will now be discarded. No one can choose who they are in this world. Your name is. They blanked it out. Chris? Our name is Chris, huh? Okay. I'm seeing Toriel. Interesting. I should probably point out, in case it wasn't already obvious, this is blind. God damn it, get out of the way. I, I've played the first Undertale, but I've not played this one at all, so everything I'm doing right now I've not seen before. Chris. Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school. So, is this supposed to be Kara or something? Because I know Kara lived with Toriel and Asgore. I will wait outside for you, alright? Or maybe it's one of the previous children. Who the frick? Yeah, well, th this doesn't look like my character, so... Uh... The frick. The drawer is mostly empty except for a school cross-country shirt with a tear in it. There's nothing useful in the drawer. Okay. There are CDs under the bed. Classical, jazz, religious scar... There's also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff one. Of course. It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. I'm going to be interacting with as much as I can, by the way. It's a beautiful day outside. I see, that's a reference. Fuck you, by the way, Sans. Clove straw. Your bed. It's a red wagon with a rusty bird cage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. I don't know why I'd have a birdcage here, and I don't know what this stain is, but it concerns me greatly. Alright. So what's this? There are many books. Tales of Snails. A storybook. Snails do not have tails. 
a scientific refutation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of the history of humans and monsters by Gerson Boom. A cactus. There's not much to say about it. There are crayons in this drawer. Their labels have long faded and there's no green. It's only you. My character looks freaking ugly, man. Who, Chris? Is that... Is, who's Chris? The door is locked. Okay, so I guess I can't go that way. This, this is really concerning me. What the fuck is this? Wait, are we in the human world? I just thought about that. We must be in the human world. This looks like a human house. Okay, I'm sorry that you guys are hearing my USBs now. Computer, will you stop fucking around? You're really ruining this. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple-scented shampoo. And a gallon-sized container of pet shampoo. <laughs> That's got to be tutorial. Right, so... See... I'm confused now. Because when Undertale finished... They, they, they all, all the monsters started living in the human world, right? And I'm, Frisk had the choice of going with Toriel or living on his, her own. So is this supposed to be Frisk living with Toriel? Or is this like another orphan that just happens to look like Frisk a bit or something? I'm sort of confused about that. It's a toilet. Flush it? Yes. You flush the toilet. I don't think I got anything out of that. It's good to conserve water. He looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Icy's Cool Boy's Body Spray. Spray for the boy's flaming hot pizza flavor. It seems to be almost entirely full. So no one's using that, I see. Can I interact with this? There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. Your brother? Oh? There is some white fur stuck in the drain. There's some cinnamony batter caked on the stove top. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. It's a trash can. Somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. So it's... I like how the fur is stuck in the sink again, just like the first game in the house that as uh, Toriel lived in before. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone, I do. I don't want pause. Oh, like this. Call home. Ring. The phone is ringing, but you can't get it. You're already on the phone, after all. Funny. So I have a pencil and a bandage, and I have two money. I see. Well, judging by the level and the stats and all that, it seems like this is going to be similar in gameplay to the original Undertale, which is unsurprising. It's Cheriel, the beloved living room chair. It stands out from the rest of the room. It's the TV. Doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore, so no one watches the TV. At least they're conserving electricity, I guess. It's a book of hymns. I, aren't hymns songs? Why should we have a book about hymns? She has a car? Yo! Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Chris, it is a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Azriel visits next week. Azriel? But I wonder, after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? Okay, now I'm really confused. Okay, that those were the those were Undyne's a what? Undyne's a police officer? And they, they brought the lie Barbie back. Oh my god. Did they make a town just for monsters? I'm surprised to hear that Azriel's alive, though. I thought Azriel was supposed to be dead. Well, I guess that explains who the brother is, at least. Whoa. I saw the trash can sisters and the police officer on dying just now. Alphys is a teacher. Oh, that's so cool. So, uh, d does everyone have a... Oh, C Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? So, who... This is a Temi. I got a pair with a Temi, right? 
Wait, no, I got- This is the kid! This is the monster kid! This- this looks like Mordecai. <laughs> Crisp! Oh, I'm very thoughts! Tell my do you have partner? A, a, a rock. It, it's a black and white hard-boiled egg. Sadly, seems like it already has a partner. Ah, oh, they've brought back the charm of this game again. I love it. Ah, uh, Chris. Late again, I see. Hmm? You need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student. Though... Wait, Chris. Now that I think about it... Your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. <laughs> Not... I actually want to get an A. Wow, so this guy's a dickhead, I see. So can, can I leave the classroom? This computer's wallpaper is a rotating slideshow of nature images. And rarely, an image of two buff superheroes embracing, blushing. Of course. You checked the time. It seems to be time for class, of course. Um, Chris, the hope is that you uh, choose someone in the class? I see. Okay, I'll do that then. What? What am I watching on my phone? It's schoolwork, of course. A, a animated schoolwork, and... Uh, hey, Chris, have you chosen a partner yet? Uh, no, not yet, but nice to see you're watching anime even as a teacher. Hey, Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here, you want the candy cane one or the one with lights on it? Huh? You want to be partners? Um, sorry. Birdly already asked me. But I could ask Miss Alphys if we can make a group of three. I'll ask if you're sure. Nope. Yeah, I'm sure there's someone else you can ask. So th th this must be like a a, a a child of the cat person, right? Was it Bratty? Click, click, tap, tap. Taken. <laughs> Fair enough. Chris! You know Jockinton and Caddy are always partners. Jockington and Catty. Well, Catty's obviously the one above us, but who's Jockington? We're the only men acad academic duo ever since our first gym class. You must be Jockington then. It was hula hoop day, and they ran out of hoops for us. So she used me instead. That's our origin story. Okay, so I can't partner with you or Catty, I see. Snowdrake. Pardon her? I hardly know her. <laughs> what do you think of that one? Funny, right? No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram. Yeah, this is a snow drake. I think that's what it's called. I recognize this thing right away. And this has to be the monster kid. Yo, Chris, show up earlier next time. I ended up having to partner with Snowy. Haha. <laughs> Now he keeps turning to me and saying, Howdy, partner, like a cowboy. Right. So basically, these two are partners, these two are partners, these two are partners, and I'm. it's looking like I'm going to have to make a group of three with them because this fucking tool here partnered with an egg. Okay. Yeah, th this is definitely Undertale. <laughs> Don't worry, Mew Mew. You'll always be my partner. Okay. Whatever you say, Alphys. Alright, let's pair with you then. Do you want to be partners? Yes. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Alphys, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I do not approve this. A boy! What? But, but Chris doesn't have a... Noelle, what were you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone. Uh, actually, I just wanted to know if... Noel, can you please speak up? Who the frick is that? Hi, Susie. Who the f- Susie? Who the fuck is that? The, the face kind of looks like one of the dummies, actually. Um, am I late? <laughs> oh, n no, y you're fine. We, we were just, uh... Cho choosing partners for the next group project, then... Um, Susie, you're with Chris. Great. <laughs> she doesn't seem happy about that. N now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. What do you mean, write the assignment? You should have had the lesson planned already. Uh, has anyone seen the chalk? Th this is the third time it's gone missing, and... 
You all know I can't start class without some. How about this? If, if no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Uh, anyone? P uh, please? Hey, th there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alfie's, why don't Susie and I... G good idea, Noel. Susie, s since you came in last, why don't you go get it for me? Whatever. What a brat. Damn. And... C Chris, c can you go with her and make sure she... Um, actually gets it, and, um, stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. Right, so I'm being left with this responsibility. Am I wonderful? Chris, if I had arms, I would take off this cool head in remembrance of you. Welp. <laughs> that, that, that's, that's not ominous at all. Don't die. <laughs> Don't worry, Chris. I've always thought Susie can't be so bad, you know? I'm sure everything will turn out fine. Chris, didn't I say being late was a bad idea? Hmm, it's almost as if you should have, as they say, listened? This guy's a real prick, I don't like him. Sus, they mean, set egg, never hatch! Well, it's hard boiled, so it won't. <laughs> Yo, Chris, I'm sorry if I just waited to be your partner. You wouldn't have to be hers. She's gonna pound you to pieces, Chris. And then kick the butts of all those little pieces. Nice. Chris, don't listen to him. It's not that bad. You'll probably survive Susie beating you up. You're just gonna fail when she doesn't do any of your project. <laughs> it's like we always say, Chris. You suz, you lose. What? Uh, that's not very reassuring, huh? I don't even know what suz means. Chris, what's the hold up? Go out there. Okay, I guess I'm going now. I'm delaying this a lot, but I want to I want to see everything I can, you know. All Susie did was eat something, and that that looked ominous. Chris, didn't see you there. Hey. You didn't see anything just now, did you? Well, I did, but I should probably pretend I didn't. Hmm. You can't even say? Chris. I hope you're not gonna hurt me. Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Oh, you're gonna hurt me. Quiet people piss me off. You think just because you don't say anything? I can't tell exactly what you're thinking. It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. Oh, so that's what she was eating. Right. Okay. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. Haha. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. I mean, it wasn't. I barely know you, but okay. Everyone's just waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So, congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So, Chris, if I know you're gonna pull the trigger... <laughs> Why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel about losing your face? Oh, now I see what they were on about. Oh, dear. Yeah, you're not going to do it, though. Nah. Chris, you've got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury a child. All right. Let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk. Mosey back to class. And then, Chris. You'll do our project. How's that sound? Not very good. Don't bother answering. Oh. Oh, so I couldn't even go to bad. I like it. If you haven't gotten it by now, 
Your choices don't matter. I see. Let's go, freak. Yeah, I'm the freak. Okay. I see how it is. The locker is locked. The locker is covered in Jockington memorabilia. So this is Jockington's locker, then. Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman's dance? At this dance, all the chaperones wear giant hawk heads and screech at any students that make contact while dancing. That sounds very bizarre. Chris? What? Realize the baby classroom was a better fit for you? Oh, so this is the baby classroom this way, is it? Hey, actually, I should come with you. Maybe I'll find a better partner in there. Nah, actually, let's not. Funny. Chris, you're just gonna skip school? What, am I supposed to snitch on you? That'd be rich, huh? Nah, I wouldn't. Get back here. God, can you walk any slower or what? Nah, I get it. Not used to walking around without someone holding your hand. Come on, freak. I can't tell if I like this person or not. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just starting to have fun. Yeah, this... Uh-oh. Yeah, this doesn't seem good, does it? Hey, Chris, is it me or... Is it really dark in there? The entire room just got dark. What's the hold up, Chris? Are you gonna go in or what? Fine. If you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll... We'll both go in at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> like you were gonna go in alone. You're the type that acts big, but is pretty chicken. See? Why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. There's definitely something else in here. That's weird. I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. Uh-oh. Uh, kind of big for a closet, huh? You'd think we'd have reached the end by now. Yeah, this is- this is some fuck shit. Hey, Chris. I think this closet's, uh, broken. There aren't any walls. Well, we've worked hard enough. If Alfie's wants chalk so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. Yeah, and the door's gonna be gone, right? Yep. Well, what the- Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out! Let us- Yep, and now the paper's gonna fuck up. Yep. The floor, it's... Yep. We're falling into the underground again, aren't we? No. Are we about to land on the same flower bed? Is that what just happened? No. Well, am I on my own? I look different. I I look different. Why do I look different? What just happened? I look like a zombie. Is that just the lighting? My clothes are definitely different. Oh, determination! At times, you see it flickering. The light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and... Oh. Oh, I'm not Chris anymore. Oh. I feel like I shouldn't have done that, but I don't... Whatever. Whatever. This is probably just a demo anyway. If it's the real- if it's the full game, then fine, fuck it. But, I'm not sure it is. You know what? I don't know how long this is gonna be. So, I'm gonna call this an episode here. And I'll do several parts on this, I guess. If it's not that long, if this is just a demo and it's not that long, then maybe I'll just put all the separate parts I do into one video. But for now, I, I'm just going to assume I'll need to do several parts on this since it's been like 30 minutes. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like rating to show your support for this uh, demo. Whatever this is. Comment letting me know what you think. 
subscribe for more of this and other video game related content and check the description to get links to my social media and an invite link for my discord server. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then.